Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm a Boeing 737 pilot and apart from showing you that lovely livery preview of the Turkish Airlines 737-900ER, indeed in this video I want to show you a different tool and it is called SimBrief Panel, available from flightsim.to. Now this is a very useful tool for those of you who are not uh, using any kind of physical tablet or any other device to show you SimBrief data, most certainly for the time while we are still waiting for the electronic flight back in the PMDG 737. So let's head right into the cockpit and have a look at what this little tool can do for us. We'll start with a quick look at the page on flightsim.to as this is a freeware tool and um, Basically, it can show you your basic SimBrief data within your uh, flight simulator. As said, it is freeware, so it is most definitely recommendable to try this out. The developer is actively working on it, and actually this developer is uh, one of the guys who has previously worked on the uh, fly-by-wire AVA A320. So, we have a basic idea that this is a skilled guy. Now let's have a look into how this looks inside the simulator. We have a new icon up here saying SimBrief Panel and we need to start by entering our username which by the way is uh, remembered for the next sessions. So let's fetch our SimBrief flight plan and here we go. So this is the uh, basic data that we have for the flight that we are about to do. So let's go ahead and start programming the FMC using this data, which I find really nice to uh, have it on screen over here. So, okay, so we're going from Düsseldorf to Antalya. And we are going to be the Turkish 181. So let's go down a little bit. We have routing via Doden, Zulu, and so on. So I'm sure you guys don't want to see me programming that entire route, so let's cut it short and. Uh, Insert the company route. But it is pretty nice to have all this available right on screen. Also, it tells us the uh, passenger amount and the amount of bags that we have in the hold. Plus, it gives us the estimated zero fuel weight. So, let's go ahead and quickly load up our airplane. So, we've got an empty plane. We'll have 100... 59 economy passengers and then we'll have 10 first class passengers and on top of that we need some bags as well 1859 kilos of cargo and if you now say hold on the zero fuel weight doesn't match then that's not a fault of the uh, simbrief panel that is just myself being too lazy to correctly program a simbrief profile Okay, so let's go ahead to the performance in it pages. And we have a cost index of 26. Reserve fuel. We need to add this up with the um, diversion fuel. So right now we only get 1050 kilos shown here for the reserves. But the developer is working on changing this to show reserve plus alternate fuel. So for now we are just going to use 1.1. But a future update is going to fix this. Keep in mind this is an early release version. However, it does a pretty good job on telling us most of the data we need right within the simulator. So for those of you who are not using any kind of an electronic flight back in forms of a physical tablet, this is a pretty useful tool to get your flight information right inside the simulator. So, let's quickly have a look into the other features of the tool. Of course, the fetch button is just always going to download the latest version of your um, the latest version of your SimBrief flight plan. Reset, obviously, just resets it. And on the settings, you can change your SimBrief username. Now, it is worth mentioning that every time the simulator is restarted, this tool is going to fetch the latest data from your um, 
in brief account, so that means the tool is going to um, is not going to save any of the information you previously had. All right. I am going to include the uh, download link for the tool in the video description below and as said, this is a pretty promising tool for now that is going to give you some of your basic flight planning information for filling out the FMC. It's not perfect yet, but the developer is actively working on it and in fact I've just sent him a wish list of what I would like to see um, added to the tool as well to make it a little bit more complete. But for now it is a very nice tool to check out your flight simulator. and. Um, your Simri flight plan within your flight simulator. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed this one. If you did, then like, comment and subscribe. And I'm looking forward to see you all again on the next one.